Hello YouTube, my name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports Garage. This channel is all about motorsports from auto racing to simulators, exotic cars and so on. Today's video is going to be about a topic that is not covered so often. Um, it's a solid state replacement of a master switch for a race car. I think you'll enjoy it's actually an interesting topic. It applies to any car from open wheel to sports cars and so on. So let's go ahead and check it out. Come on. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the solid state relay that I mentioned. Um, what is it? Why do you care? Right? Um, many of you racers will recognize this. Every race car has a master on off switch a switch that actually connects directly to your battery um, and it's a closed circuit switch so when you enable it it actually um, creates contact and it provides that same input from your battery to the rest of your electrical system so every race car for the most part at least over the last you know many decades have had these in the race cars and it's an external device and required by most uh, racing sanctioned bodies. Okay, So there's another option that you can use and I refer to it as uh, just a, a solid state relay. I, that's probably the best term for it. What is it? And let me show you, show you it, it itself. It's basically, as I, as I mentioned, a solid state device. It eliminates this old mechanical switch and replaces it with just a small switch um, that goes to ground. So no longer do you have this high voltage um, um, battery source wired up through your car. Um, the, the unit that I've been using is uh, T1 Racing Development out of Texas. Uh, there's others out there, I'm sure. Um, I've used it a couple times, works great. Uh, the one that, that I use is, I think it's rated at 200 amps which is way great bigger than what my little F1000 needs. Um, but it's a very simple, easy to use device. So let me show you some of that. So I, I'm just wiring the car up here. So, uh, you know, bear with me, it's, it's a little messy, but you'll see this small little single toggle switch. So this replaces the, um, this old mechanical switch that I talked about. This guy, is connected to ground and then has a lead from it directly to the solid state relay. So all you do is pull this. You don't have any power energized through here. It's fantastic. And so the um, requirement for external on off control for the cruise is actually there. Okay, break. So in the compartment here where I have my battery, where I have my fire system and so on, in the back, and it's kind of hard to see it, um, there is this solid state relay that I talked about. Now you see from the battery, you have a, here let me grab something to, to point with. From the battery, you have this, if you can see this stick here, a um, 12 volt lead that goes directly over here to this input on this solid state relay. Uh, and then the output from this solid state relay, well in this case, is going to a PDM uh, to distribute power throughout the vehicle. Extremely simple and clean. The only thing you need to, to activate this relay is a ground that is applied by the toggle switch that I mentioned. Very clean, very simple, and safe setup. Hi everybody, I thought I would uh, go to the computer here and actually show you um, what solenoid, what or relay actually I use uh, in the uh, the master control or master switch um, discussion. So this is actually uh, T1 Race Development, uh, their website. Um, this is the product, if you can see it, um, that you can purchase from uh, T1. They call it a battery cutoff kit. Um, you can see here it's $195. Um, this is a 200 amp um, solid, solid state relay. Uh, comes with a, a, 
a toggle switch, you know, a, um, a red uh, uh, master cover, if you can see that there, and so on. Really simple to set up. I've used these before. It's, it's not um, as sophisticated as some of the other products in the market are, um, but just with personal experience, I thought it worked quite well. Uh, so this is what I ended up using, okay? If I switch over here, um, here's another company. This is uh, ECU Master, and you can see the um, product they have here, and they call this a battery isolator. Uh, same concept, same, same uh, function. Um, this one actually has tabs. It looks like it mounts directly to your, one of your battery posts, and so it hangs off uh, one of the battery posts. Um, but it does have, um, it looks like a CAN, a mil-spec connector on here for communications, which is actually quite cool. Um, and most of the, the newer ones do. Uh, so this is, uh, as you can see, priced a little more expensive, $549. I have not used it. Couldn't tell you how good it is or not. Uh, I'm sure it works quite well. Um, let's see. This is um, ah, a 300 amp uh, continuous. That's a lot. Um, peak up to 1,000 amps. So it's uh, that's pretty intense. Um, very cool. And... My assumption, well, everything is configured. Oh, here you can see the, uh, uh, um, you can configure the device through CAN bus, which is cool. Probably gives you current load and all sorts of other things. Um, how compatible is that with, um, say, MoTeC, uh, like my project? I don't know, being that ECU Master uh, builds some of their own products itself. So that's one to look at, okay? Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is, um, oops, if I can get back here, sorry about that, is uh, uh, another website company, um, RaceSpec, as you can see. They have um, a device here as well. Um, as you can see, they call this the uh, MSEL Solid State Battery Isolator. Uh, it's a little little uh, cheaper uh, or lower cost versus the... Uh, the last one I showed you from uh, from ECU Master, so at four hundred and ten dollars, you can see it here. Um, looks um, very simple. You have a battery post for your in lead, your out lead, and this one comes with a flying uh, flying lead. Or oh, I see. You can actually have the mil spec um, connector put on there, and then the price goes up a bit. So you you can see that. Very cool. Um, so this is CAN based as well, which is um, neat. Now this is a 200 amp, 1000 amp peak. And um, this company does a lot of uh, MoTeC stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure the, uh, the, the CAN messaging supports MoTeC and other devices. So um, you know, if, if that's what you wanna do, uh, this would be a, a, another product that you might want to consider. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you a couple things on the website, okay? So, thanks. Bye.